Hi there. I recently made a video about making contacts during a sporadic E opening on the 50 megahertz band on 6 meters using the weak signal mode FT8. And I made this for a friend and I thought, you know, others might be interested in this process too. And some of the things that were going on and some of the ways that I've tracked how my signal is working and where it went and, and so on. So here's what I've got. Uh, this is a sporadic E opening going on on six meters right now and on the waterfall display what you see is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine fairly strong signals coming from across the United States and these are double hop sporadic E signals and they're pretty persistent. They, the signals have persisted often on sporadic E. They kind of fade in and out but these are pretty persistent. And the whistling sound you can hear, that's the... Um, that's the, the uh, signal, the FT8 signal that's being sent. And this map shows where I have been seen in the last 30 minutes. I'll, I'll change it over to an hour to give you a better perspective. And these are all stations that have reported hearing me across the United States. You can see here's the, the first hop right here in the Kansas, Colorado area, and the second hops along the eastern seaboard. So pretty amazing uh, signals today on the six meter amateur band, the 50 megahertz band. And I've, I've probably worked uh, 10 or 15 stations. This is the best I've seen it ever on this mode uh, or this propagation mode. I didn't experience it in Alaska. It's often very sporadic. Often the signals kind of come and go in a few minutes and you have to grab signals when you see them. This one, it just seems to continue on and on. I'm using this low signal, low, uh, this weak signal um, mode called FT8. And it, uh, what it does is it transmits every 15 minutes and then receive, I'm sorry, every 15 seconds and then receives in 15 seconds. And what you're seeing here is the stations that are being decoded uh, on the band right now. And that's a fair number. Well, that's a lot for the six meter band. Often on the six meter band, there's, there's only one person or more often none. And so these guys in blue, they're calling CQ. In other words, calling anyone. And uh, this guy, I've been trying to talk to him, so I'm going to try to make a contact with him. A, uh, 81 Charlie. And he is in, uh, I'm not sure where he is. We'll find out in a minute. Let's see if he comes back to me. He's got a fairly strong signal. He's two decibels above the noise level. Uh, that's pretty strong. So we'll see if he's, no, he didn't hear me. He's trying again, so I'll try him again. This is all automatic. Once I set up to who I'm trying to talk to, uh, it just goes right on through. And let's see if, uh, if he comes back to me on this go around, or on the listen cycle now. And 81, Charlie, you gonna come back to me? I gotta wait a few more seconds. There he is, he came back to me. All right, uh, and he's reporting that I'm a one decibel above the noise floor also, so I'm gonna see where he is. AD1 Charlie. His name's Jim and he's in Brighton, Colorado. And so I'm gonna, he's gonna, we're gonna finish this cover, this very quick connection. Uh, Jim in Brighton, Colorado, and then I will digitally log this. There, there we go. Okay, his name is Jim, and he is in... The time is 6 p.m. Friday, May 15th. That's my uh, 2 meter, my 144 megahertz FM transceiver, and that was a repeater. Right. Okay, so I recorded where he is. I always just out of interest to put where they are. So when I have, uh, he's given me, you can see the exchange of signal reports. Um, so I called, he called CQ. I called him and told him where I was. I told him I'm in the grid square 80. He came back and said, you're one decibel above the noise floor. I came back and said, you're four decibels above the noise floor. And he said, Roger, Roger. And 73 means, uh, in ham speak, it means best regards. And I said 73, and that ended the contact. 
So that's a, a quick look at what's going on, on on the six meter band today. It's you can see the signals on the S meters are fairly strong. So that, that's impressive. Often they're just right in the noise. Uh, so six meters, strong sporadic E, double hop opening. One more thing I'll show you. This is um, a real time map of the projected maximum usable frequency. These are the sporadic E clouds. And uh, the, the numbers is the projected maximum usable frequency. And you can see there's a strong cloud over maybe about Utah, Arizona, Wyoming, Colorado, and another strong cloud in the eastern United States. This will, this will taper off as the evening wears on. There's a pretty good one down here, too. I worked some Mex Mexican stations earlier today. Finally, let's just flip over to what it looks like in terms of contacts on the six meter band in the last 15 minutes. This is loading up. And these are call signs. You can see uh, call signs on there. Mine's on there somewhere, but it's kind of buried under stuff. And these are all the lines represent who's talking to who around the North American continent. Anyway, that's six minutes of uh, VHF fun uh, at KL7DJ. Talk to you later. Bye.